Hey there everybody, it's my Yoshi67 here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last episode, we started our adventure meeting our friend Hot Wings the Torchic, and we and we named ourselves Kyler and we are Skitty. And we went to the tiny woods to save Butterfree and her babies Caterpie, as well as saved a couple of Magnemites stuck in Thunderwave Cave. And in this episode, we're going to continue on and we're gonna actually going to do some rescue missions now. Alright, so, let's see. We gotta check and see if we have any mail right now, so... Oh, there's none there. How sad. Good morning, Kyler. Aren't you... Aren't you ready for... Or, excuse me. Aren't you up early? Yes, we are. Oh, so you checked the mailbox. So, was there anything? Were there any rescue requests? Um, about that. Huh? Empty? Hmm, I guess so. After all, we are... We, we've only just begun. Oh, well. We should go to Pokemon Square. We should check out the Pelipper Post Office. I think they'll have jobs posted. Pokemon Square is over here. Let's go. So now we finally get to look at the Pokemon Square. Where it has crap tons of shops. Like the Kecleon Market where you can buy items. And orbs and TMs and stuff like that. Then there's the Felicity Bank where we can store our money. Which I'm going to store my money right away. Because I don't want to lose any of it. Because we need to save up money for the friend areas. Then here's the Gulpin Link Shop. You can basically link your moves together. But unfortunately... If you do that, um, use Link Moves, it does cause your belly to, to empty a lot faster, which is not good, so I'm not going to be doing that at all. And then here's the most useful shop in the game, which is the Kankoscon Storage, where we can store a bunch of items that we get throughout our adventure. And we can use them later on, when we'll eventually find Kankoscon statues throughout the game, that will be able to, which are like portable stat, um, storage statues on the go. But that's not for a while, so... I'm going to quickly go over here and store some items, so... Alright, so let's see. Alright, how do you pick multiple items again? There we go, yeah, that button. Okay, so. But I think that's just good for now. We'll put these couple items away. Alright, so thank you, Kangaskhan. Now let's go put our money away, because because if, if whenever you die, you lose you lose a bunch of your money, so that's not good, so. So, let's, okay, so let's store that. Thank you. We'll have to come back for that later. Alright, so let's head off to the right and head over to the Pelipper Post Office. That building is the Pelipper Post Office. I see that. This is where information is gathered from Pokemon needing rescues in various locations. See? Have a look at this bulletin board. It lists rescue jobs. Check it out. Okay. So, I'm gonna take all the ones from Thunder Wave Cave because that's how, where it has the most missions. And every mission does have a tier, and, that, and it gives you a certain amount of rescue points, which I'll go into that later. But as you can see, all these are tier E, so that means they're gonna be very easy and not that hard to do. But um, as you go on in the game, as you get up to like A and S, that's when things get really hard. And, but Except you can get a lot more rescue points and stuff like that, but... I'll talk more about that later once we complete these jobs. So let's, we're going to take all these jobs that make us, um, that are for the Thunder Wave Cave. And now we have to go rescue a Pokemon. Or as some missions may require you to, to find an item or bring one with you in order to, to help somebody. And sometimes there also will be escort missions where you'll have a Pokemon come with you in a dungeon. And you have to take them to a certain person. But I will probably be doing most of these off screen because you have to do some of these within the plot to unlock more of the story. So... Yeah, I'll, this will be like the only time I'll probably be showing this on screen, but then after that, I'll probably be cutting off screen and doing the stuff in between because you guys don't want to see me just running around in a dungeon and saving Pokemon. But for now, we're going to have to show it, so. But we're just going to go back to Thunder Wave Cave. Alright, I, I think there's no need to explain what Pokemon are here again. I'll have the sidebar tell you guys what Pokemon are here, alright, so. Let's just tackle you. And if you forget which floors you have to go to. Um, for the rescue missions, you can go, you can press B and go to others, and then go to your um, mission objectives, and it will tell you which floors, which Pokemon you can find, and and um, where they are. So yeah, it's pretty helpful. So we have to go to, we have a Pokemon to rescue on floor three, four, and five. All right, so let's. let's oh hi, Poochie, get out of my face, please. Go away. Hey, you come back here. Don't you run away from me. No, get back here, you jerk. Get back here. You can't just run away from me just because you're terrified. Get back here. Why can't you get cornered by another Pokemon? Fine, whatever. Run away, you just little jerk. I'll just continue on to the next floor then. I don't need you. And I know what stairs are, game. I did not mean to pr press info. Thank you very much. 
And money! Must get all the money in the game. Okay, so let's go to the next floor. And whenever and also whenever you reach a floor, it will alert you that a mission objective is nearby. And here we found the Nidorant. Alright, so one problem I've seen many Let's Players have is that people don't know how to face the um the people they're trying to rescue. Basically you wanna click the R button or the start button to face a certain direction like this. So yeah, so for some people who don't know, that's what you have to do in order to be able to face the Pokemon easily. Like if you're trying to rescue a Pokemon or if you're trying to attack a Pokemon. That is the best way to do it, is by, is by clicking whatever the R button is set to, or whatever the Star button is set to. Alright, so, and it will ask you once you complete a mission to, if you want to leave, but since we have more Pokemon we want to rescue, we're going to have to say no to that for now. Alright, and we just rescued one of your kind, how dare you do this to us? Die! And, I'm holding L. Thank you. Alright. You can die. Everyone, <laughs> thank god everything dies to just one tackle. No! Stop it! Go away! That hurts, sir. Or ma'am, or whatever gender of a Pokemon you are. I can't tell in this game. It won't tell me. And, yeah, that's right, Puchiano. You better be terrified and run away. Because little Pokemon just like you beat you up. It would make more sense if we were, like, final evolutions and you got scared. But whatever. And, oh, there's Pidgey already. Hey, you. There you are. Okay. Yes, we found Pidgey. And... Thank you, please come see me again. And yeah, basically the, what the rescue team badge is basically for in this game is to show a Pokemon that you are part of a rescue team and you want to rescue them. So that's like the main use of the rescue team badge they gave you on that starter kit we got last episode. So, Ellie kid, can I have that please? Thank you, sir. I was completely guessing if that he, he picked up that gravel rock and I saw you spawn out of nowhere. Don't think you're cool. Just get out of here. All right, so it looks like we rescued everyone here, but I'm gonna wait for this guy to come over. So we can kick his butt, because we want to get as much experience as we can also get, too. Because we need to get as many levels ups as possible on this screen. And man, we just keep finding the, the, the Pokemon we're looking for right away. This is cool. Alright, and since that is the last Pokemon, we are going to leave with the Wurmple, so... Yes, let us leave. Yes, I want to leave. Yes, I do. I hate how... I can see why they automatically put the cursor on no, but at the same time, it's kind of... Like, ugh. But then again, they just wanted to make it as a precaution for people who like to button mash. And we get a Max Elixir. Max Elixirs are very helpful items items because throughout the game, when we get to through lawn dungeons, you're going to run out of PP fast, and that's your way of restoring your, your uh, all your PP in the dungeons. So. And as you probably could see, we get we got five rescue team points for completing the mission. That is what you get from E-ranked um, missions. And as you go up, you get more points as you go into higher tier rescue missions. Like... I think around A and S you can get like 50 and 100 rescue points. And this is also how you're supposed to make your team go to the next level too, as your team rescue rank. Because right now we're just the normal. And then I think the next tier is bronze, and then silver, and then gold, and diamond. Don't quote me on that, but if I remember correctly, that is how it goes, but oh well. But I don't know how many, I don't remember how many, um, how much rescue team points you need to go to the next level, but oh well. Anyways, we're gonna have a dream after completing either two or three missions, I think. I don't remember how many. But just try to accept as many missions as possible in each dungeon. Alright, so. Again? Am I dreaming again? It's that Pokemon again, huh? Hey, they're talking to me. I can't hear them clearly. What are they saying? Huh? It's shaking. An earthquake. Whoa! It's getting worse! For a dream, this feels strangely real, but... The next morning. Uh, hello? Hmm? Huh? What? Someone say something? Huh? Hello, uh, you are Kyler, aren't you? Um, am I hearing things? Oh, you can't see us, of course. How very rude of us. Oh, well, hello, Doug Trio. We're pleased to meet you. We are Doug Trio. Last night during the earthquake, our child Diglett was attacked. He was whisked away to the peak of a tall mountain. We couldn't possibly climb somewhere so high. That is why we must call upon you for your help, Kyler. Diglett was abducted by a Pokemon named Skarmory. You mean he was abducted by Super Skarmory? That jerk! I thought he loved Pokemon, but nope. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Super Skarmory is a cool person. But, oh well. It's a vilely vicious ruffian. Please do be careful. And that is not a per person either. That's just a Pokemon. So I'm talking about the wrong thing. Who cares? <laughs> We're just kind of like, uh... 
That was so sudden, there was no time to say no. Too, it's too bad. Better go. Alright, so hey, Hot Wings, we got a rescue mission to do. You were just asked to go on a rescue mission? Yes. No, <laughs> what? Our child Diglett was kidnapped. He was taken to Mid Steel Summit. Please, we need your help. Bye bye. Man, these guys just know how to pop in and pop right out. Jeez. Talk about rushing. Jeez, well, let's go to Mount Steel. And now, I would recommend that you bring an apple, a blast seed, a re don't, and if you're not feeling ballsy enough in this place, you, you can bring a reviver seed with you because there is a boss fight at the end of this place. But I mostly recommend that you bring a blast seed, a couple orange berries, and also a sleep seed because these will be very helpful against the boss. And also, if you can, bring some gravel rocks too. And this dungeon, it has nine floors. For, and this dungeon, by the way, if you don't know already, is Mitt Steel, has nine floors. And the Pokemon that we can find here right now on the first floor are Spiro, Zigzagoon, Aeron, and Beltoy. And it looks, and look, we found Beltoy already. But this is where Pokemon are going to start really doing some damage to you here. So you need to be really be careful. Make sure you are stocked up on the items I recommended previously. So, yeah. Ouch. That hurt. Okay, I need, I'm going to have to let Hot Wings take care of the next Pokemon. Please, Hot Wings, take care of it, please. I'm really low on HP. And I just noticed the stairs are right there. I completely forgot. I didn't even notice they were there. Oh my god, yeah. See, look at that. 22 damage to Hot Wings. These guys, these Pokemon here are not playing around. This is where the game starts to spike up its difficulty a little bit. So, yeah, you need to be careful. Look at that. We were both low on HP, but we did get levels, thank god. Alright, so yeah. Let's go for those stairs. Cause I want to get through here quickly as possible to the boss, so we can we can kick his butt. Hopefully, if we don't get destroyed by Skarmory, cause Skarmory can have some pretty um, strong attacks at points. And I hate having only ha having only a tackle as my move. Okay, now I need to take a break, and uh, I need to use an Orange Berry on. No, wait, actually no. It's face towards Torchic. And now I'm hopefully gonna. Th hopefully, when I throw this at Torchic, she will not miss it and eat it. No, I meant to use it on Torchic. Crap! I pressed the wrong button. Okay, good. She Torchic or Hot Wing Hot Wings didn't get attacked. I need to start using the right name. Jesus, I meant to use throw because you can throw your items at your your partner in order to heal them. So, all right, got a gravel rock. Okay, there's the stairs there, and we get some money. And here we get gummies. Now, I'm going to recommend giving gummies to your partner because they can learn a bunch of useful um, skills that can benefit your team. Like, they can conserve HPP and stuff like that. So, let's give that to Hot Wings. And then, Hot Wings, you can, you can use that. And, she, and Hot Wings learned PP Checker. Okay. I'm going to quickly go to Hot Wings and check his tactics, because so that, that's what happened. Not tactics, it's actually um, IQ, I think. Okay, Torchic, you're going to need this berry, so hopefully you don't like try to avoid this this time. Hopefully I don't eat it myself. There you go. Okay, sorry about the little confusion right there. <laughs> I got really confused for a second there because of what happened. It's like, I, I really hate how I can't, I can't have both of those, exclusive move user and PvP checker. Kind of sucks. But oh well. I guess we're going to have to deal with it. And no, go away. Thank you. I really hope I can learn the move assist soon, because that'll be really helpful when it, whenever that comes. Because then, if you don't know what assist does, assist basically makes it so that I can use the same moves Torchic has. So that can be very helpful later, since I'm only a normal type and can use normal type moves. Except with the exception of... Assist when I get it, so I can use some of the fire type moves. And ooh, money. Um, Torchic, you can take try to take care of that Aeron. You're gonna use Ember now, right? Maybe or not. Okay, give me that money. Okay. Oh, you're gonna Harden. Okay, take this then. Jerk. Alright, so on the 5th floor, you're gonna see Geodudes, Tyrogues, and Meditites starting to appear on this floor as well. So, yeah. There's a lot more Pokemon that appear here, but but that also means that Spearow, Zigzagoon, and Baltoy will, will disappear on this floor after you go through the set of stairs. And also, once you pass through the 5th floor, um, the terrain will change. 
to this to this like rocky looking place since we are getting higher up on the mountain so it is getting a bit more rock, rocky and rugged up here so yeah okay um yeah i'm just gonna keep taking the stairs right away if i'm right next to them because i don't really want to get ko'd right now even though it is good experience to kill them still i generally like to play this game i really don't like play this game just to like grind i really just play it as i go Oh yeah, and also, um, Pinsir appears on this floor too. I forgot to mention that, on the sixth, on the seventh floor. I think that's the floor on we're on, because I can't tell right now, because of, um, Fraps, they have the numbers in the, right in the spot where the floors are, so I think if this is the seventh floor, that means Pinsir has appeared here, and so has Beldum too. I forgot to mention that as well. Yeah, we're on the eighth floor already. This is the last floor that we have here, so, um, I'm gonna face you, kill you, maybe. Yeah, make sure you you gotta be you want to be careful around metatites in this place too because they can use bide and if you hit them and you don't kill them in time they will do double the damage they take back towards you and you can get destroyed. But yeah, this is the last floor on the ninth floor. That's where you're gonna encounter Skarmory, so you gotta make sure you're 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 very well prepared for for a fight when once you head up the steps on the eighth floor. But yay, we grew to level ten. Alright, so, really, Geodude? Well, at least you took my cute charm. You're, you're done. Go, get out of here. Alright, so, I'm glad we're getting a bunch of orange berries, because those will be very helpful against Skarmory. And, wait, am I a lot of tackles? No, I didn't mean to do that. I am. You know what, I'm gonna eat one of those max elixirs, because I'm a, I kinda want my tackles for when we fight the... Um, Skarmory. And I forgot to put 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 away one of that Reviver Seed we got from the rescue mission. Oh well. So I guess maybe, I guess we have a full, um, a safeguard for if, for if we fan against Skarmory now. Because I completely forgot that we still had that. And we got another Blast Seed. That's going to be very helpful against Skarmory too. Because Blast Seeds can do a lot of damage to Skarmory. And this, uh, there's so many of you in here. Get out of here. No, stop getting up on hot wings. Okay, Beldum's dead. Now you must die. When is hot wings gonna level up? It should be around the next level soon, right? Ouch. Well, I'm glad you guys aren't doing that much damage to me. But to be fair, these guys are not the best attackers at their at their um um lowest form. But these guys get ten times better at their stronger forms. If only if we if we had them. But oh well. Anyways. Make sure you, you heal yourselves up and to make sure no one's low on HP. Alright, so it looks like... Well, I can see mine. I should just look at Hot Wings to make sure she's okay. Wow, we have the same exact HP right now. Okay, let's get our... Let's get, let's, I'm gonna use one of the orange berries on myself. And I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, so we are back. Sorry about that. I had to go do something quickly, so... Whenever you're ready, head on up the stairs. Now I'm going to tell you right now, Skarmory is level 10, it's a steel flying type, and it has 65 HP. And look, Kyler! Diglett's over there! Hey, are y'all right? We've come to rescue you. I... I'm scared. You! What do you think you're doing here? We're here to rescue Diglett! Skarmory, don't do this! Release Diglett! How dare you! It's their fault! I haven't slept in days because the earthquakes frightened me so. Every night we had them. Those earthquakes are caused by the brats' I ilk running wild underground. That's not true. Well, it's true that there have been earthquakes lately, but... It would take more than Diglett's family going wild under the ground to cause earthquakes. You be quiet! We'll fight if you keep that up. It's no good. Skarmory is too agitated to listen to, uh, to, listen to reason. We'll have to fight it out. So yes, as I said before, Skarmory does have 65 HP, and you want to make sure you be careful. Now, I recommend on the very first turn that you throw a Graveler Rock right away if you have one, and I, I'm using the wrong control stick. Alright, so let's throw it, and do a nice 20 damage. And then after that, um, we can use a Blast Seed, and that should do a decent amount of damage as well. Look at that, we already took down 50 of its HP. And let's take it out. There, Skarmory is done. Alright, that was a pretty easy fight. And, yes, Hot Wings learned Ember, finally. 
And I forgot how he's in no ember yet. No wonder I was thinking why he didn't use it against that Aeron earlier. Because he wasn't high enough. She, he or she wasn't high enough level yet, but oh well. Grr, I can't keep up. I'll flee for now. But yeah, Skarmory's not that hard if you got those two items to help you. So, hey there, we chased off Skarmory. It's okay now. Come, come down over here. I can't. I'm too scared. Okay, no problem. We'll come. We'll come to you. Just wait. On um, Torchic, there's a cliff there. Whoa. Jeez, look at this cliff. I can't see the bottom. Kyler, what do we do? We can't get across this. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh, hi. You're the Magnemite we saved. We got word of this. We can rescue Diglett from the sky. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Hold on tight. Hold on to us tight. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Don't be scared. We won't make the mistake of zapping you. Oh, that's reassuring. But yay, happy music. Oh, I was very scared. Maybe because I was somewhere so up so high. My feet feel like they're still walking on air. <laughs> they're all confused because they don't think that thing has feet. If only Nintendo would show us the mystery of the Diglett. But I have seen a lot of pictures online of what people think the Diglett look like from the underside. But, oh great, you've been rescued. Great, great. Everyone's kind of freaking out. Huh? What was that? Am I hearing voices? Oops, you can't see us. That's terribly rude of us. And again, you just come out in the weirdest places. Hello, Doug Trio here. Oh, Papa! Diglett, you had us worried. You're not hurt. Nope. It was scary, but I'm alright. It's all thanks to Kyler's team. Thank you for everything. You're heroes. Please... Please thank our Magnemite friends. We couldn't have done this rescue by ourselves. Oh, how rude of us. Thank you so much. No, no. It was the only thing to do, and how both our evolved forms are joint trios. I felt a certain kinship. After all, Pokemon must help each other. I'm impressed. Sincerely, thank you. You must be going, Kyler. Hot Wings. Thank you. Farewell. Alright, bye bye Diglets, but we get no rewards, sadly. Oh, nope, I'm just joking. I was completely lying there. But we did get the Peach Scarf, which is a really cool item. And a Gainsane, so we'll be on our way to... Oh wait! Don't go away! What is it? Um... Would you like to join our team? Join your team? Yes. We couldn't have done this last job if you weren't around, Magnemite. I thought we would need help for more doing rescue missions in the future. Kyla, don't you think so? No, we don't need any help. No, I meant to- I used the wrong control stick again. I wanted to show some funny dialogue, but never mind. Rescue team, that sounds fun. Bzz, bzz, bzz. But if you need us to rush over to rescues, we need somewhere to live close by. Is there anywhere we can live in this area? Um, well, not really, guys. Oh, there isn't. Too bad. Sorry, but we can't join you. See you. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Well, that's too bad, but we don't want him anyways, because... Well, the rules say we can't have rescue um, party members, so... Yeah, we can only get the inv- Um, the when they ask us, so... Technically, they don't count, but anyways... Looks like this place called the Wiggly Tough Club is gonna open up tomorrow, which is where we're gonna get access to our friend areas. And no, I don't want to say by adventure. Just in case this recording fails. Even though I think I've already saved it once already. But we're having another dream. Again? Is this... It's that dream again. That Pokemon. Who could it be, huh? I'm hearing better this time. What? Human? My role? Well, wait! Please, don't tell me more! I can't. Drifting off. It's weird how, fa how fast you can- It's weird how fast time goes in your sleep. It's like as soon as you fall asleep, you wake up instantly, it feels like. Either that, or like whenever you have a dream, it goes by very fast, and then you just wake up. It's so weird how dreams work. But oh well. I guess we can now go see what this Wigglytuff club is now, so... Morning, Kyler! <laughs> what's the matter? You haven't woken up yet? Oh. You've been having strange dreams. What was strange about them? Well... Hmm, okay. Kyler, you said you're actually a human, right? So maybe those dreams have some connection to how you became a Pokemon. By the way, what do you want to do? Do you want to turn back into a human? It's true. I haven't thought about it much, but... Do I want to become a human again? Possibly. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose so. Since you were a human to begin with, it's only natural you want to go back to being one. Anyway, when you were a human, what kind of person were you? When I was a human... Huh? What was I like when I was a human anyway? Nope, I can't remember a thing. Well, it's time to go to Pokemon Square now, so blah 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 blah. Let's go check out the Wigglytuff Guild. Or whatever it is. 
Because I was speeding through text, not caring at all. Alright, so. Hello, Wigglytuff. Friends are my treasures. Welcome to the Wigglytuff Club, a circle of friends. Oh? Is this your first visit here? Oh, I get it. You started a rescue team too, didn't you? You've come to the right place. I sell friend areas to add members to your rescue team. Since you're here for the very first time, I'll give you two, two friend areas for free. Let's do it. Wiggly tough, wiggly tough. Let's be friends, ta! We can now go to the Wild Plains and the Mist Rise Forest. Those are pretty nice, decent areas. But yeah, any Pokemon that, that can be live in that area will be able to join our team next time we fight them. And there are certain Pokemon that can join only certain areas in your team when you have them unlocked, so... Bzz, 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 if you're getting away friend areas, can you also give my fr friends access to the Power Plant friend area? I also want to join their rescue team. Okay, gotcha. I'm giving it away today. Wiggly tough, wiggly tough. Let's be friends, ta! Congratulations, you can now go to the Power Plant, so... Hooray, we get these guys on our team now. Sorry, I know my friend turned down your offer on your team yesterday. But after mulling it over last night... My friend developed an overwhelming desire to become your team member. I apologize, but could you allow me, to, my friend, to join your team? Yes, you can, of course, for now. Then I'm gonna get rid of you later. Alright, so yay, he's gonna be a help to us for only, like, maybe a second or two. No, I don't wanna nickname it. No, I don't wanna nickname it. He, using the wrong control stick. Ah. Okay, you have your fun at your your power plant area. I'm gonna go get rid of you later. Yeah, and we can access our friend areas to the left of our guild, but we won't be really doing that, except for maybe releasing team members that we get by accident. But hello, sir. I would like to take out all my money. Please, because I want to buy as many friend areas as I can right now. And most of the friend areas are actually pretty cheap right off the bat, because look at this. Well, just a couple of them. But some of these later ones cost a lot, so we're, we're gonna just gonna buy all the, the early ones first, so... I'm actually gonna speed through this, because it's just just a bunch of text, so... Let's just buy, let's just, we just, let's, let's just buy all the areas we can get right now. And nope, that's all we can get for now, so... Yeah. Anyways, I think that might do it for this episode, guys. You know what, I'm just gonna grab a couple... I'm gonna see if there's any other missions that we can do. Looks like I'm gonna be doing Thunder Wave Cave again off screen, so. I actually think there's one cutscene that's gonna happen once we make our way back to our base now. I think? Yes, there is! Okay, so, huh? What's going on over there? There seems to be a commotion. Please help my friend, please, I need help! Forget it. We're not, uh, we're not about to work for that. But my friend needs a help, needs a gust of wind, please! Hi, what's going on? Huh? That scene there. Jump was begging for a rescue mission, but not finding any luck. See that guy? There, the one in the middle with the pointy nose. He's a Pokemon named Shiftry. He's got his own rescue team. But his team's greedy. They don't work unless they get paid royally. Jump has been begging for help, but I feel sorry for that poor Pokemon. Wait. Uh, wh what do you want? Oh, it's Alakazam! That's Alakazam! Hey, rather cold-hearted, aren't you? To save Jump Love's friend, a strong wind is needed. You leafy, your leafy fans can whip up powerful winds. It's an easy matter for you. Help that Pokemon out. <laughs> Everyone's watching you, sir. Yeah, that's right. You guys better walk to the north. Wow, that shifter, th that shifter agreed without any argument. Say, who are they? What? You don't know? That's Team Alakazam. They're the most famous rescue team around these parts. That's Charizard. His flamethrower can melt mountains. That's Tyranitar. He takes great pride in his armored body and amazing strength. And that's the leader, Alakazam. Alakazam doesn't like physical attacks. He fights with his psychic powers. He endowed with an amazing brain and an IQ of 5,000. Apparently, he's memorized everything that's happened in the world. Alakazam does the commanding in the team. He's clearly in charge. Th thank you. No need for thanks. It is only natural that you get help. If anyone turns you down again, come see me. Take care. Ka cool. I wouldn't expect less from the gold rank rescue team. Hmm. Wah! What's wrong? What's up? It's nothing. It's fine. Nothing. <laughs> Let's go. That was kind of weird. As soon as they passed by us, he kind of had a weird feeling. 
But phone, stop ringing. And oh, well look at that. If it isn't a stalking Gengar, not if I can help it. <laughs> Well, looks like we have a stalker on our hands, so... And we're gonna go over the next day already. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon The Red Rescue Team. In the next episode, we are gonna go do some... We're gonna do whatever's next in the story for us, so... See you guys next time. Bye!